We begin tonight with breaking news. The West Virginia special session is set to begin on Monday, and although education may not be on the table, Senate Democrats are revealing their plan for education reform at Piedmont Elementary School this afternoon. And that's where we find 13 News reporter Lily Bradley. So Lily, tell us what this plan entails. Well, Pat and Jennifer, the plan will include five or six separate bills that cover everything from increasing technical education to funding mental health professionals in all schools. One thing you won't be seeing in this plan is charter schools or ESAs. Senate Minority Leader Roman Prezioso says the caucus came to this decision after hearing opinions from around the state at the listening forums and then the following survey results. Now, this is something Senate President Mitch Carmichael has disregarded, citing low turnout. They're all telling us the same thing, and to say that it's that it's non-productive, that. Uh, we met with all these people and now we're not going to listen to them? Well, that's a slap in their face. Prezioso added charter schools should not be considered until the current system is properly funded and fixed. Now, House Speaker Roger Hanshaw said in a statement today that lawmakers and education officials are nearing a consensus on education reform, saying, quote, we know the one size fits all approach of regulating education from Charleston has not been working for our local school systems. Speaker Hanshaw went on to say, we agree that we need to give local schools and boards of education more flexibility to manage their education systems in a way that best meets the needs of the local community. Senate Democrats say these bills will be ready to be seen by the public as early as next week. Now, later on tonight, we will have more on this comprehensive plan. For now, reporting live in Charleston, Lily Bradley, 13 News, working for you.